I thought this afternoon's game was a uh, a very good sign for our team. You know, we were dealt some adversity um, a few days ago, and we've always had the next man up mentality. And um, we got a great contribution from a lot of guys across the board, but I thought Doral came out and. Um, and I was telling Stan after the game in our post-game interview, this is the best I've ever seen him play. Uh, practice, high school, uh, AAU, this, this is the best basketball I've ever seen him play for a 20-minute stretch. And um, you know, I'm very happy for him because he's, he's, he's worked hard in practice and continued to, to stay after it. And uh, you know, he came out, got us off to a good start. I thought the floor game that Cody and, and, and Bryant played was very, very good as well. And I just thought it was a really good team win. Um, a lot of guys contributed. A lot of guys had great uh, mindset coming into the game. And um, when we got dealt our adversity um, a few days ago, we've had some pretty good practices. And um, this afternoon was a chance for our guys to come out and uh, play well. Um, now, this is a good win for us in terms of giving us some momentum as we go into our next game, because we need to be playing the best basketball that we can possibly be playing once we start uh, ACC tournament. Um, you, know, you know, Boston College came out tonight, and um, you know we're in similar situations. We're not where we want to be, and um, you know we got off to a quick start. But uh, you, know, I, you know, I look at uh, Eli Carter, and I think he's one of the toughest covers in our league. And I thought Owens was really good as well. Like besides Doral getting off to a good start, early you shot the ball pretty well. Didn't work in shots. That always helps. You know, I mean, that always helps. I mean, we shot almost 52% in the first half, and whenever you're able to do that, it's going to cover up a lot of other mistakes in different areas. And, um, you know, it kind of snowballed for us. Um, second half, you know, Boston College did a much better job of guarding us, and we didn't shoot the same percentage, but, you know, we. We were in a decent position at that point. Coach Christian said he was wary walking in here because of the adversity you guys were facing. He was, how did you think your team would, uh, would react to that adversity? Well, based upon the last two days of practice, I, I thought we were going to come in with a great mindset and, and have some energy and, and effort about us. And we, and we certainly had that. And, uh, you know, I'm just, we're as a staff, we're very happy with the guys. But you know, we want to see this every time we step out on the court, the effort and energy, um, the attention to detail that we had for the most part of the game. Now, we still broke down in a few different places. But all in all, I thought this was a game for us that we did some really good things. And it's something that we can definitely build upon. Is that been your experience as a player and as a coach previously that teams do often get lifts out of these kind of adversities? Well, I don't think you become a real team until you go through some adversity. You know, and uh, adversity comes in all types. And, uh, you know, we happen to have hours with, with the suspensions that we're going through and a dismissal. But um, I just thought it was a very good team effort, and, and we have to maintain that type of mentality every time we step out on the court, um, regardless of who's out there or who we're playing. You know, we have to have that sense of urgency and attention to detail. Coach, there's a lot of folks that probably consider Doral to be a bit of a project for his freshman year. What do you think he's done to, to advance his game, and what is he better at now than he was to start the season? Well, he's playing harder now than he, than he did when he first got here. And, and, and that's true for a lot of big guys. You know, we talked about this before. He's not played up against guys his size on a regular basis day in and day out. Um, and not only his size, but just as strong, jump just as high, and all those things. So it's an adjustment a lot of times for big guys. You know, guards always play up against guards that are quick, that are fast, that can do certain things with the basketball. But, you know, a lot of times for big guys, they don't, they don't get a chance to, to bang and compete up against guys their size um, throughout their high school and AAU career on a every possession basis. And... Uh, you know, I thought he took advantage of his opportunity today. And, um, you know, I thought what he did in 20 minutes was very good. But, you know, the game's 40 minutes, you know. But this was a great 20 minutes out of him. Was that stamina, 20 minutes Um No, it was, it was rotation. Um, you know, we're going to play him in, in, in short bursts of minutes. That's when he's most effective. 
and you know, getting off to the start that he got off to. Um, you know, you score your first three touches or dunks, uh, you you kind of float for a little bit. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, as a player, you do, and. Uh, you know, but he had his work cut out for him trying to guard Clifford because I think he's one of the better skilled five men in our in our league. He didn't have a great game um, today per se, but you know I, I think he shoots the ball well. He's got great feel and, and, and really good moves around the post. He reminds me kind of a of a poor man's Kevin McHale with with his footwork. I think he's got good footwork for a big guy. Danny, as the league was ballooning like it was in the first half, twenty nine two. 37 board. Was there ever a moment where you sort of stepped back and said, wow, and appreciated it a little bit? A little, not a lot. <laughs> you know, um, we've been in this situation before, you know, having a, a good lead on a team at half and, and not come out in the second half and play the, the way we did in the first. And that was something that we definitely talked about and reminded our guys of at halftime. You're the freshman that John is very talented, a skill that he tends to tends to get a lot of foul physically. Is that a function of him being a freshman or just poor position? I think it's a experience. I think it's a freshman. I think it's strength. You know, I think it's a lot of things. Um, you know, John age, I mean he age wise he should still be in high school. I mean he should be. And uh you know, so he's not only taking a jump in, 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 in the talent, but also in, in the experience that some of these older players have and their strength. You know, but you know, he's going to be fine. He's just got to continue to work. And uh, you know, tonight he comes out and he plays 17 minutes before he fouls out and has 11 and five. Um, can't complain about those numbers from a, a true freshman. Could you sense some of your guys' confidence growing in the route? If it passed Cody for him. Kind of surprising he even went up and got it, but you know he had the confidence in him to throw it up there and say, "Go get it." Um, well, I think as as a big guy, you give your guards confidence when you go after balls, and not just the good passes, the bad passes. And I think tonight Durrell went after a lot of basketballs that gave guys confidence to throw it up there to him. Um, you know, I've said this before. Durrell is a is a, is a seven foot guy, but you know, athletically he's He's very gifted and blessed. You know, he can jump up over the top of the backboard. He can go into the weight room and squat and almost put his behind on his heels. And big guys don't do that, trust me. I've seen a lot of them, and that, that's not normal. How many of us can do that? Yeah. <laughs> Coach, uh, Cody flirted a little bit with the triple-double today. Had a good game overall for you. One of the things I noticed early in the second half with maybe a couple shaky possessions right off the bat, I saw him kind of talking to his team, encouraging him, and kind of trying to get him focused. Is that something you've seen from him the last couple of days? That's his job. He's a senior. He got more experience than anybody out there on that court. Uh, yes, happy to see that, but you know, that's what he's supposed to do. That's part of his role. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, Coach. All right.